These people are completely blindfolded, but watch as they race around this track effortlessly without crashing. Even video games are not a problem. For many people, being blind is terrifying, a fear of the dark. But today, we're making it even darker. Okay, let me get a close up of it. Make sure I'm not peeking. So that looks sealed enough already as it is. Could you see the way it is now? No. Okay, and on top of that, you're putting the mindfold on, right? Yes. All right, let's see that. And I, I've tried the mindfold on in the past, and that alone is completely, completely sealing off everything. Dave is just one of several students who attend this martial arts studio in Utah and can now demonstrate the same super ability. I'm going to be just handing these to you. Yes. And you are able to just tell me what colors they are, right? Yes. Okay. Fast as we go. All right, let's do it. And there, you're the trailblazer. You're one of the first, right? Yes. Okay. So you must be really confident. I'm not going to go easy on you. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Color. That's blue. That's red. That's white. Wow. That's orange. That's blue. That's black. Red. <laughs> yellow. Green. I'm not even as fast enough yellow, for you. Yellow. Blue. Green. Done. Wow. That's amazing. Good job. <laughs> I've documented this a few times, uh -huh. and every time it's been kids. Uh huh. Why is it that you can do this so easily? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think maybe it's because I have a mind like a kid. I don't know. You're it's, open to it. Yeah. 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 And explain to me, because I saw you doing this a few times. Uh -huh. what, tell me what aspect your hand plays in this whole thing. A lot of times it's the vibration. You send out a signal to the object or the color or whatever, and it'll send a, a vibration back to you. But like but for me... But when you say vibration, like, okay, here's the yellow pad, right, uh -huh. on the floor. You, if you go like this to it, uh -huh. what are you getting back? On me, it's a little bit different for colors because I get a different heat set for hmm. each color. And like my son, he gets the vibration and the color blasts him in the face. So for everybody, it manifests it's in their own way. Yes. Wow. Okay. It, it's a lot of it <laughs> is a lot of meditation and a lot of concentration. You got to let your mind go to where it will be open up to everything that's around you. How often would you say you meditate? I do at least two hours a day. At least two hours a At day? At least. You guys, we're slacking. <laughs> I, I feel so good when I do 20 minutes. <laughs> I feel like blissed out and amazing. See, and I'm a truck driver and I have a lot of downtime oh, waiting yeah. to be loaded and stuff. So I'll sit in my sleeper and I'll sit there and, and do my maintenance and meditation. You know, I love that because it's so easy for people in the world to stereotype. Yeah. And if I saw you and you're a truck driver and you're you know, on the road, I, would, I wouldn't think meditator and I wouldn't think vibravision trailblazer. I would just never think that. Yeah. My own stereotypes. So are people shocked when they know that you can do this? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I surprise a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> they were taught by this guy, Nate Zelesnik. Vibravision actually comes from a martial art uh, that was developed by the royal family of Indonesia called Merpati Puti. They actually call it MP mm. for short and we call it MPUSA here. Uh, it's actually a, a specific discipline of energy awareness with meditation and energy work that we do in the martial art that gives us the ability to detect our physical surroundings without our eyes because we're connected to everything we are electric beings and utilizing our sixth sense if you will that that sense that you can feel somebody looking at you or you can right. just feel somebody get close to you we can hone that and turn that into a usable uh, sensation or and actually turn it into a picture in our mind and he's pretty impressive himself check this out and so uh, what I've got here is a it's an old-style well pump handle that they oh, use yeah. uh, you know, to, to pump water up out of the ground it's uh, cast iron can I see and sure oh yeah that's pretty solid Jeez. okay yeah that's like solid metal <laughs> I cannot bend that well, my record, sure, uh, <laughs> I, I broke 25 of those at one time over my leg, but I'm just going to do this one. We're actually at waiting once? for it. Uh, yeah. Jeez. But we're almost out. This is like my last one. So okay. since I only have so one, let's break how it. about I break <laughs> it with my finger? Perfect. All right. You're going to break it with your finger? I'm going to use my, my uh, power and put it at, through so my finger. Channel it all in here. This, so it protects my finger and break it with my finger. Wow. Okay. So just to show everybody, look, I'm like pushing down on this. Nothing happens. Okay. All right, <laughs> take it away. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. So That's we use this energy to, to do, you know, the, the real aspect, this is just for fun and a good way to test our electricity and our power focus. Wow. But so is that what it is, electricity? Aspect, yeah, well, it's all electricity because we're electrical beings. That's how we, they measure our heartbeat, our brain waves, everything in our body, we're electric. Vibrovision is all about electricity because we're huge antennas. One. So My journey into this whole third eye thing started with little nine-year-old Yoga Matsa from India. And from there, I flew to England to document those little kids who could read while completely blindfolded. And now we're in Salt Lake City, Utah at a place called MP USA, where they're training people how to do complete obstacle courses while fully blindfolded wearing these mindfolds and some of their students like the ones right behind me now are completely blind kevin and tiffany are engaged with a three-year-old son and being completely blind they've been coming to nate for a year to develop this ability well i've been blind for about 22 years now and yeah. always looking for something that could just make life easier when i first heard about this doing a different type of training I was immediately fascinated because I've been a martial artist my whole life. Yeah. And I, you know, you see movies where people can do these crazy things while they're blind. And I just, when I heard about it, I couldn't believe it at first. And then once I researched it and met Mike and Nate, it was just, it was incredible. It blew me away. And yeah. finding out how real it really is just gave us a new hope. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many times we've been brought to tears just because of the stuff that we've been able to experience here. Mm. I was almost brought to tears a few times, just even, even just watching your dedication and being able to come out here and do this. You know, mm -hmm. you come once a month, right? Mm -hmm. For a week at a time? Usually it's wow. four days at four a time. Four days, yeah. Have you already noticed a difference in the, in the year that you've been here? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Like what? Uh, daily life, just going around, you know, moving wow. around obstacles, moving around yeah. people, you know, in crowds. It's always a challenge with the cane, you know, because yeah. someone tries to get out of your way and you think they're in one spot and they move right into a different spot where you're planning on going. Oh, yeah. But with this, we've both been able to do some navigating around things that mm -hmm. was so much more difficult before. Mm -hmm. Well, and we have a three-year-old and he oh. just has like, you know, three-year-olds, yeah. toddlers. <laughs> they have stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's really nice, <laughs> like not step on Legos. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, you know, be able to find a sippy cup when he wants it, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's just Absolutely. simple, just simple, like everyday stuff. Watch as TJ sorts these cards according to suit while completely blindfolded. I've got a bunch of cards here. I mean, I can't, th somebody will find a way to comment about this <laughs> and not believe, but I don't know how that this could possibly be done. I'm going to shuffle these cards really, really well. By the way, let's just show your ears because in some of the videos I've done, people say that, oh, he's got something in his ears or whatever. Look, there is nothing in those ears, right? TJ, other side. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's nothing in your ears. All right. And I'm shuffling these cards completely. Okay. I think that's good enough. All right. So now, sort these out by, um, by shape. So okay. diamonds will go together, a suit. Uh, suit. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yes, that is correct. Yeah. Image, you can go wide and show him too. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, so you've got all the diamonds here, all hearts. These are all, I don't even know what those are, clubs? Spades. Spades, clubs. Good job, that was amazing. Can you give me a high five? <laughs> That's like the easy part. <laughs> I test them again, calling out drills which they're able to carry out without any hesitation. So I'm going to show the shape to the camera and then I'll show it to you. Let me mix them up. Because people will find a way to disbelieve anything. All right. I've mixed it randomly. Okay. So here's the first one. You guys, what is this? Star. Star. An upside down star. I guess if you're right. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay. It's a line for horizontal line. line. I know. Some of you use your hands. Tell me about that. What is that? 
Do you feel the vibration of the shape coming back to you? Like I have done this so many times and I'm always blown away. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, ready? Yeah. Sure. All right, yeah. For anybody thinking that these are in a certain order that are memorized, I'm going to switch them and not tell anybody. Mike? You are so welcome, sir. Here you Get go. One, two, and three. Thank you. One, two, and three. And one, two, and okay. three. <laughs> All right, so now let's try a different color. Let's go with red. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, green. Three, two, one. <laughs> and just for extra measure, I put the blindfold on myself and try to navigate the obstacle, failing miserably. I'm going to, I just want to do this myself. I'm putting on these blindfolds and I'm gonna try to go through this obstacle here. And everybody get out of my way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Ready? Oh God. <laughs> it's, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, this is so scary. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I got something here. Oh. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to hit something. <laughs> wow. Okay. I feel like I can go down here. Oh, there's a balloon. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if I can go any further, you guys. You oh. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> oh my god. Ten feet. Ten feet? Yep. Of nothing? Just keep coming forward. You're tricking me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Good job, buddy. That is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane Frank has gone through. <laughs> wow! I'm gonna clap to you guys because that's amazing that you could do that without knocking those down. Oh my gosh! All right, I've embarrassed myself enough for the day. I think we're <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Great, buddy. Wow! First go. You're but you know, it's like insane because you it, like when you have it on I mean it's so pitch black you really just lose all I don't know feel totally lost yeah it's like the fear of the unknown you don't yeah that's what it is the unknown right wow because I know it's not gonna hurt me it's more of just yeah 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 wow so tell me like did you guys have to get used to that obviously you did um well, you were, but you weren't because you were not always Oh, when blind. I first when went blind, blind, I didn't get out of bed for a year and a half. For I was scared to, like, go to the bathroom by myself. For a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I was a pastry chef, and I just totally lost everything, just like that, in a week. In a week? Yep, and I just thought my life was over. I'd never seen a blind person. I didn't know blind people, like, got out of their house. I didn't know they did anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything is, is uh, vibrating at a certain frequency because the protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom are all moving, you know. Uh, they're all cycling over and over. And that's what gives different things, different mass or different uh, uh, color, different, you know, everything has a different vibration. So we're taking the vibration that we're catching through our energetic system and turning it into vision. And are you guys able to turn it on and off the way Colton was telling me he can? Um, well, we don't ever turn it off necessarily. Yeah, until we never we get turn tired. it off. Like when we get really we get tired, get a headache. We get a headache and we can't do it. Then it's like it's just like ugh. And you just let it rest for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you oh, just rest totally. your brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brain's growing. I mean, you're creating neural pathways and, and building new building blocks. It, it's scientifically, you know, you're waking up a part of your brain. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Please show your love for this video by giving it a like and comment below. Oh, and go to my channel and check out my other Third Eye videos, most famously with nine-year-old Yoga Mata and with these kiddos in England. You have to see it to believe it.